Uh, I can't believe I'm actually saying it, but uh, Shaquille O'Neal, the basketball icon and legend, is here on Monster Cat. Uh, What? Uh, What does that even mean? Um, Well, uh, in his kind of spare time as a hobby, Shaq has been learning to DJ and produce music, and uh, he is now under the alias of Diesel, and he is here with a new Monster Cat release alongside Heritage, and uh, this is actually off the heels of an upcoming album coming out in uh, the summer of this year, but my goodness... Uh, Just the fact of hearing Shaquille O'Neal on Monster Cat is bizarre. Um, I I remember hearing somewhere, don't fact check me on this, but that um, Monster Cat was actually a big inspiration for Shaq to get into music uh, and at least EDM production. So uh, if you've been around the scene, you'll kind of see photos and uh, videos of him at shows and concerts, obviously, because he's a a huge guy. It's hard to miss him. And so obviously being the celebrity status that he is as well, but... Whew, uh, he's had a couple songs in the past um, around a bunch of different things. We've got uh, what, Welcome to the Playhouse. There was Mosh Pit on there too or something like that. But um, here is, uh, <laughs> we're going to listen to the new song, Bang Your Head um, by Diesel and Heritage. Uh, so I am excited to get into this. I am very intrigued to hear what the song is going to be. Uh, but without any further ado, let's get into it. I don't normally like really heavy dubstep, and I think that's what this is, so we'll see. This may not be my flavor, but... My goodness. <laughs> actually, I, I really don't mind this, actually. Okay. Weird refrain, but you know, that's okay. Okay, Bang Your Head with Diesel and Heritage. Uh, brand new track on Monster Cat from Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, <laughs> that was... I honestly enjoyed that. Uh, that was... <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, first off, I want to note, I am so fascinated to see and know at some point if like how much of this is heritage versus how much of this is diesel like um i I know shack i know djing and producing are are two different things and he was dj diesel for a long time where he could um like like i can dj i can do that i don't know a lick about production so i'm just fascinated to know how much production um he's really bringing to the table here and and that's not to say that he like can't or or shouldn't but um like it due to freaking basketball legend and a celebrity like he's not just gonna like i don't know how much time he's really putting into like production of just like learning the edm scenes and learning the daw and learning all this stuff and i i mean if he's going hard at it then respect to the dude but i i don't know all that to say like the song sounds pretty good. Like it's, it doesn't sound like it's just gimmick. This isn't 
it doesn't feel like a gimmick. And I, and I'm not sure, I, I don't feel like Monster Cat would sign it if they, if it felt gimmicky, like if they, I don't think they would sign um, a whole album of this if they knew it was just like, oh, we're just using it for the name value itself. I, I don't think Monster Cat would do that. Um, and so, yeah, I like, I could see this being a heritage song and just with like featuring Shaquille O'Neal. Um, but I, I genuinely don't know how much production of this is, is diesel. So, um, but I, I enjoyed it. Um, I, the fascinating thing about the song is it just does not in, in honestly, in a weird refreshing way, it doesn't stay on point it's like the song is adhd the entire time it is like just moving from one melody to another and just like and just bouncing around simplex it's just like going from one thing to another and just kind of just going hard without keeping a consistent kind of like beat to it which i i actually did enjoy like i i, I thought it was actually quite interesting and um something as i was listening i was like oh i don't feel like i hear this a ton um but uh, I do. <laughs> the only semi gimmicky thing is the the audibles feel a little bit on the nose for me. They they're like, okay, like let's just how many times are we gonna say mosh pit in like one song despite the entire like? So you're just gonna that's like his thing, like just the like. Yeah, so are we going to get at a whole album of the word mosh pit? Um, I have no idea, but um, honestly, I I enjoyed the track. Uh, I need to give this some more listens, though. This one felt weird off the bat, and I'm and I'm trying to dis I'm trying to distance myself from the star power of the name, and so I don't want to like just brush it off because oh, Shaq probably doesn't have a ton of production background or whatever. Or I don't know how much of it is his heritage versus Diesel. Um, I don't want to brush it off for that sense, but I also don't want to be like, oh, this is the greatest thing because it has this name value of Shaquille O'Neal, and so um, sometimes it can be hard to separate that. And so I think I need to give it a couple more listens. But I would say on first go, um, this is this it's a bit of a banger. It's a bit of a, a bit of a, like a hard hitting, just like in your face the whole time uh just down your throat dubstep track so uh wow okay shaquille o'neal on monster cat but uh yeah i'll end it with i want to hear what your thoughts are uh any and all comments in the comment section below but uh you know other than that uh i've been dakota from bowtie media and i will see you guys in another video